Shalom friends, welcome to my channel today. Uh, the goal of this tutorial is to create a custom PowerShell script that will extract attachments in Office 365 mailbox using Microsoft Grab um, API. So I've divided the tutorial in two parts. The first part is to configure Azure or Auth app in Azure. The next part, that is the second part, is now to show you how to create the script and then do a test. So as an IT engineer uh, who actively manages Office 365, you might find yourself that you need to extract attachment for a certain user mailbox in Office 365 and going through each uh, mailbox manually to download uh, the attachments it can take longer time for you so to make work easier for you you can just use this partial script that we're going to create today and you can be able to access any mailbox in your office 365 and be able to extract attachment from that uh, mailbox messages or emails so we are going to leverage on Microsoft Graph API. It's a very powerful API that uh, Microsoft has developed basically to access Microsoft 365 uh, programmatically. So from the application that you're going to create, we'll only uh, be interested with three things from the app itself. So the first thing will be application client ID, directory tenant ID. Uh, this is the tenant ID and then we'll create a secret so with these three ids we can be able to create access token or generate access token that will allow us to access office 365 exchange online so to create the application you just need to open your browser and log into m365 or you can just uh, type portal.azure.com and this will take you to Azure website page. So I had already logged in. The first thing that you need to locate here is app registration. If you don't see app registration on the home page, you can just search app registration. And you'll see it right here under services so you can click app registration and then click new registration and then you give your application a name so for my case i'm just going to call it demo or app who can use this application or access this API. So you can just go on with accounts. You can select accounts in this organization directory only. That will be now your tenant uh, name, single tenant. And then the next thing is to click register. Here you'll have to wait for the application to complete registering. As you can see, it has already completed. So like I said, we will only be interested with this ID, that is the application client ID and directory tenant ID. These are the most important. And then the next one will be the secret. We'll see that later. So once you provision your application, you need to configure the application. The first thing to configure will be authentication. So click authentication and select add platform. So for platform, uh, since our application is not a web, we're only going to use a partial that is from our desktop. You can just click uh, mobile and desktop application. And then you check this box under redirects URIs, you need to return HTTPS login.microsoftonline.com forward slash common forward slash auth2 native client. Here, you can optionally send HTTP full column, then 
no co-hosts. So for my application, I'm going to send the two URLs. So once you check the box for HTTPS, that is the first option. And then you type in HTTP to uh, full column to forward slash localhost. You can click configure. And then you should configure. As you can see, we have those two options there. The next thing to configure will be the API permission. Since we are going to interact with Microsoft Exchange Online, that will be now mail. So with Grab API, you can be able to access absolutely anything in Microsoft 365. But for our case, we just want to access Exchange Online. And that is now mail. Let me just hit refresh here. This is the application that I created, demo auth app. And then we go to API permissions. As you can see here by default, usually uh, Microsoft Grab has one uh, permission assigned to the admin that is user dot free. So another thing that you need to note, you need to be logged in as the global administrator for your organization for you to do this task. So click add permission. And then under Microsoft APIs, select Microsoft Graph. As you can see, uh, the description for Microsoft Graph, take advantage of the tremendous amount of data in Office 365, enterprise mobility, plus security, blah, 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 Windows 10, access Azure AD, all that with Microsoft Graph. So select the tile. And then from here, select application permissions. And then you scroll down and locate mail since we are only interested with mailbox so this is the mail so from here we have few permissions under mail so just check box for all permissions mail to read mail to read basic mail to read basic all mail to read write and optionally you can check mail.send so just click mail.send once you have all the permissions for mail assigned or checked click add permissions and then as you can see now the permissions have been added but not yet granted to the account that i'm currently logged in that is for the administrator account so to grant the permission, we just need to select or click grant admin consent for tenant name. So click add link and then you select yes. And as you can see, already all the permissions admin consent has been granted and now this account can be able to use this application that you have created to access data in Office 365 on behalf of all users without being prompt for any uh, permissions to accept. So the next thing now will be to generate the secret for our application. So select certificates and secrets and then from here you can click new client secret and then you can type a name or description for your secrets and then you have expiration period Microsoft recommends six months so we'll go just with six months the defaults and then you can click add so once you create your secret do not refresh your page because you need to copy the value of your secret not id the value so you can copy the value of your client secret and you can paste it in a notepad so for my case i just save it here this notepad 
on the app just locate overview page and you copy the application client and just paste it here go back to the tenant and copy directory tenant id and then i can paste it here we will be using these ids in our partial script so guys that is the first part of this tutorial so the next thing now will be we will create the script together and test so thank you guys for watching if you like this tutorial or video you can feel free to subscribe for more to come thank you bye bye see you in the next part